What's up and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm making my list of my three favorite home miners for 2025. And look, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet. All sorts of stuff could probably come out between now and the end of the year. Who knows? But I'm confident and comfortable with saying that these are my top three choices for the 2025 calendar year. We'll start off with number three and let's get right into this. Starting out with number three, the NerdQX++. Now this specific version is a modified Rev6 NerdQX++. Now I've spoken with the team over at Tiny Chip Hub. They have their own remastered version of the NerdQX++, which I assumed was just a red Rev5. But in talking with them, they said they think it's actually better than the Rev6 and they're willing to send me one to try out. So we'll see. But I'll say the NerdQX++, regardless of revision, is the number three spot. Now, this was a tie, almost, because I really like the Gamma Turbo. I've posted a ton about the Gamma Turbos lately. The issue with the Gamma Turbo, and the reason it didn't take number three spot, is that last night, I overclocked the thing to about four and a half terahashes per second, which was very impressive for a dual chip miner. The issue is, I was getting about 75 watts, or using about 75 watts per hour when I was doing that, and with something like the NerdQX++, I can easily get 4.8 to 5 terahashes a second, and I'm only using about 75 watts to do that. And so for that reason, the NerdQX++ solidifies its place on the number three spot. Now, this is the very first home miner I ever bought. I make parts for this thing, like the Carpoos Mining Mod 1 you see attached to the front of this thing. That is the Noctua fan. I've got this adapter that I designed, and it's also got an AXP90 X47 thermal right cooler to keep this thing nice and cool. These have a special place in my heart, and I love them. Why not the Avalon Nano 3S? Well, I've never tested one of those, but there's all kinds of issues with the power supply getting all hot. Now you can obviously change out the power supply and all of that stuff, and I happen to love the Avalon series of products. However, it's the customizable nature of the NerdQX++ that makes me really love this thing. You can tune it exactly how you want it, you can modify it, you can do all kinds of stuff. So number three, NerdQX++, a solid contender on the list. Number two on the list, Tiny Chip Hub's Zyber 8G. I love this thing. You know, I've said it once and I'll say it again. These are really like the Ferrari of desktop miners because they come with the best components that Tiny Chip Hub can possibly source. They also use brand new chips instead of recycled chips from retired miners like most desktop miners use. And so it's just a quality device. Now I was able to get about 14 terahashes a second using 150 watts. So it's also very efficient, even more efficient than the NerdQX++. Now again, I love the NerdQX++, but when it comes to this thing versus those things, price wise, it's about $1,000, which is about the same as two modified NerdQX++, but it's more efficient than two NerdQX++, and that's why it gets the number two spot. You know, if I had to choose just one desktop miner, it would definitely be this thing because again, you plug it in, it does its thing, it's ready to go. It doesn't really need any modifications like the NerdQX++ Pluses do. With those, I have to add a big fan to the front, I add another fan to the back, I have to add some heat sinks. But with this thing, I didn't have to add anything. I just plug it in and let it start mining away. So number two on the list, Tiny Chip Hub's Zyber 8G. I love this thing. Number one on the list, the Avalon Q. Now there's a huge debate on how to say this company's name. And I actually watched about 10 different videos from different mining influencers to hear how they pronounced it. And some say Canon, some say Canaan, some say Canaan, some say Canaan. Nobody really knows. I tend to say Canaan and maybe that's totally wrong. I even emailed them to ask how to pronounce it and I haven't heard anything back. But anyway, this is my number one favorite home miner of all time. Now, Again, this is a home miner and not really a desktop miner for obvious reasons, unless you have a really big desk. But there's so many things that you can do with this. And out of this group, this is the only real miner, I would say, that's on the list. It's the only one that's gonna generate some passive income. You can actually make some money if you're pool mining with it. Now, I do all kinds of different stuff with it. Sometimes I solo mine for Bitcoin Cash. Other times I pool mine or multi-mode mine. There's just a lot of different things you can do. Now, this gets about 96 terahashes per second in super mode. There's an eco mode that gets about 54, a standard mode that gets about 84, and I notice on super mode, it gets about 96 to 100 terahashes per second, so it's in a totally different league than the others that are more like toys compared to something like this. And price point-wise, it's really not bad. 
If you look at a Nerd QX++ that's modified, which is about 550 USD, to something like a Zyber, which is more like 950 USD, to something like this, which cost me 1800 USD, uh, it's really a pretty good deal when you consider the hash rate that you're getting for that money. Now, the downside to that is this thing uses a lot of electricity, about five USD per day. However, it actually makes money, unlike the others that are just trying to solo mine all the time and don't make anything unless they get a block. And neither of the models that I just showed you have, by the way, so so far, they're just eating electricity, but not actually making any money. But with this thing right here, I actually have been able to make some money, and that's the thing I really like about it. There's just a lot more that you can do with it. So when people are new to mining or they're asking me, what should I get? I always ask them what their goals are, what they're trying to achieve. If you want a little lottery ticket that you can stick on your desk and hopefully you strike it big with a Bitcoin block, get yourself a NerdQX++ or even a Zyber if you want to. But if you want a serious home miner and you really want to get into something that's going to generate some money for you, Maybe not right now because crypto prices are very low, uh, but in general, it's gonna be something like this. Now, you might say, why not the Flu Miner T3? It's got better specs, it's got a higher hash rate, it's slightly more efficient. Well, there's a big reason for that. In fact, it's the reason I just bought a second Avalon Q instead of getting a Flu Miner T3. And that's the fact that these things have a one year warranty and US service centers. So, in the event that this thing breaks or something happens, and so far I've had it running nonstop for several months and it's been great, I can send it to a repair center here in the United States, they'll fix it and send it back to me. Now with a flu miner, I have to send it all the way overseas, which is gonna be very expensive and who knows when I'll get it back. And so the fact that these are easily serviceable, the fact that they have a good warranty and support team, and the fact that it just looks cool, easily puts this one on the number one spot as my absolute favorite home miner. If I could choose just one, and I have about 12 of these things, I would choose the Avalon Q all day long. Now, again, keep in mind, if you're trying to be mindful of your electricity bill and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on electricity, if you live somewhere where electricity is very expensive, this is probably not the best option for you. The other thing to worry about with this thing is it does generate a lot of heat. Now, this is a great thing if you live somewhere up north in a cooler climate and you want to warm your house or bedroom or office. These things are great for that because they work very well as heaters while also generating money while doing so. Now I live in a tropical climate and I don't need any heat at all. And so I had to devise this exhaust system and I made a long video about that. I'll show you a sneak peek of it here in just a second. Now in eco mode and standard mode, it's not as bad, but on super mode, these chips get really hot and heat just comes pouring out of this thing. In all three modes, it's very, very quiet. And overall, I think this is just a really great device. It's about the same size as a gaming PC. It makes about the same level of noise. It's very, very quiet, uh, but it does eat some electricity and it does get pretty hot. So those are two things to keep in mind if you're looking at one of these things. But that's pretty much the deal. I absolutely love this. I think it's an absolutely fantastic device. Way to go, Canon, Canon, whatever your name is. You guys did a great job on this thing. I am very, very, very impressed. And I do think it is the best home miner that you can buy, especially if you live here in the United States and you want access to those US service centers in the event that something ever goes wrong with these things. But from what I'm seeing so far, it's a quality build. I think they did a really great job when they designed this. I think they put a lot of research and time into it. That's pretty much the deal. If I could only have one, I would choose this. If I could only have two, I would choose this and a Zyber. And if I could only have three, it would be this, the Zyber and the Nerd QX++. Now there's links below in the description for all of these devices. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for this, uh, but I do have some discount codes for other stuff in the links down below. So check that out if you're just getting into this stuff. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to answer your questions in the comments. You can also send me a message on Instagram, at Ryan Bloss, same as my username here. Always happy to talk to you about mining related stuff, but please keep it mining related. Sometimes people send me weird stuff or just wanna have a conversation because they're bored or lonely. Uh, and I don't wanna talk to you about the weather or politics or your life, but I will be happy to talk to you about home mining because I really enjoy this stuff. So that's all I got for today. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna plug this thing back in so we can get back to work. Have a wonderful day.